Today we're working on Lab 5, looking at chromatography in inks. And the first thing that you're going to see is steps 1 through 4, comparing known inks. So as you can see there on the left, the inks um, that we're using are some black inks. We've got some filter paper with lines prepared, along with six beakers. Um, each beaker is going to contain a different solvent. So each of the um, papers will be prepared with three spots, as you just saw. Um, the first beaker will contain hexane. So we pour about a centimeter, centimeter and a half of hexane into the beaker. Um, just enough to cover the bottom of the paper because it's going to get soaked up by the paper. So the paper is now set in there with the lid on top of it, which is just a watch glass. And little by little you can see that hexane moving up. Next beaker gets butanol. Make sure that you um, check what order these went in. The paper goes into the butanol, and we'll let that sit for about five minutes or so while the butanol soaks up the paper. Next one is propanol. Next one is acetone. Next one is methanol. I need to smell all these, they smell kind of like paint. Um, last one is water, um, and that's partly why we keep the lids on, also it just keeps the papers trapped inside of the beakers. So this has been sort of time-lapsed for you, um, but as you can see, as the liquid moves up over there on the left, the hexane, um, the inks are not moving with it, so that means that the inks are not soluble in hexane. Um, over towards the middle, you can start to see um, that the Sharpie on the left is starting to move with that solvent. Um, that's the acetone there, so that would mean that the Sharpie dissolves in the acetone. Um, and as these sit here little by little, you'll see that some of the solvents start to move up and start to carry those um, inks with them. Over a second from the right, that's methanol, um, and the inks are definitely moving in the methanol. So we'll just watch these move. The methanol, you can see all three inks are dissolving pretty well in the methanol. Um, that means that those inks are very much like the mobile phase. Methanol is the mobile phase. All the liquids are mobile phases. Um, as that solvent gets towards the top of each paper, about a centimeter or two from the top, we want to pull the papers out. Um, there are measurements you can do with these chromatograms that we won't be doing, but in order to measure correctly, you need to pull it out before that solvent runs off the top of the paper. So you can see we're nearing the end here, um, and we can see different separations for some of the inks, which shows that it's not all the same pigments in every black ink. Um, we can also see that some inks are more soluble in mobile phases than others. And remember, these are the same three inks in every beaker. Um, Sharpie, Crazy Art, and then Crayola. So you can pause this and record some of those observations if you'd like to. Um, these go into your lab. So next up we're going to do step number five. We're going to look at three different unknowns. Um, so we have Sharpie, Crazy Art, and Crayola, and then a fourth spot now for our unknown. So those have been prepared already. We liked the separations that we saw with methanol because it was very different for each pen, and that's good for um, finding an unknown. You want it to only match one of the pictures. So we've got four chromatograms with those four spots. Here's unknown A with the little U at the bottom. Here's unknown B with the U at the bottom. And here's unknown C. So same exact procedure. Um, put a watch glass on top of each beaker. And we're just going to let this sit for a couple of minutes now. You'll get some time-lapse glimpses as this sits. Um, the mobile phase methanol is moving up the paper. The paper is stationary phase. So if an ink is like the mobile phase, or a pigment is like the mobile phase, it will move far with the mobile phase, or move far with the methanol. You can see those inks starting to move in the methanol, which we expected, because we saw that last time. You want to look for, on each of them, which ink does the unknown match, right? Because that's our goal, is to say the unknown is definitely the Sharpie, or the unknown is definitely the Crazy Art Pen. So you're looking for what does the unknown match on each of them. And that should be pretty obvious as we get to the end here, um, what each unknown is. So you'll pick one of these to draw in your lab um, 
report and then you will identify all three unknowns um, to say whether A is Sharpie, Crazy Art, or Crayola. Here's a picture you can pause if you need it. And that wraps up our experiment. Thanks for watching.